just block through the center as usual and develop just make them chop the part on Oh, it's not top of the palm. Put a check on the king. Castle. Try and lean on the bishop. It's got enough tempo though. So we might just develop the bishop. Next, move the queen. So it looks quite good for black because they've got their pieces developed dead quick. We've got a knight that's still not developed. But I would still give it a little bit of a. It'll probably be a minus. No, zero, a point two type thing to black. Yeah, go here. That was always happening. So we'll wait for the unusual to then really try and drill down into the proper potential value. Okay, so it's gone straight for that, but that's not unusual because we take here. So he thinks nothing can challenge it there, so we do have the knight that can challenge, but he may leave it there thinking he's wanting to go for like a past pawn type situation. It's gone with the queen. Let's just bring the knight out. Nothing unusual there, that's pretty straightforward at the minute. They're going for ownership of the file, for potential, for all pushing this pawn down. That's the sort of psychology, so the knights come round, let's see what else we can do. Knight could block off that, but it's not very interesting at the minute. Could attack this pawn, could bring the rook across, or this rook. I think it's going to be a movement of the rook across, because it's just going to keep this knight there forever and a day because he wants somebody to take this knight so we really need to start fashioning some sort of attacks towards this side here to get rid of this pawn if it happens that way so we've just brought this because it x-rays through to the queen Conscious move very quickly actually at the moment. I'm not even broken the um, one minute mark. But it's all because it's all usual stuff. So the concept is understood at the minute. So we know what the opponent is attempting to try and do. But from this point on, I think it will become fresh and new. Because he's moved the queen off, so that's not, that's okay. So it's protecting this pawn here. So we could could still push this pawn onto this pawn. Now this is where we need to have a look at the potential value. The potential value of this move. So we're attacking the pawn, but he can just simply defend. 
and if we take we're opening up either the queen or the knight I think the knight's fairly comfortable protecting this knight here so it's probably going to be the queen so the queen sat here our knight is here now if we went to attack the queen he may try to get rid of this knight but I don't see that that's going to happen takes and then the knight takes hmm seems to be some type of value there is there a better potential move than that not that because it gives that could go here because it's attacking a higher piece a smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong I think we can stick with that philosophy let's go with that one has more potential value because it's attacking a higher piece okay so the queen has moved down now with this movement here added value is that it's got this area here so we could go back to this one and see if the potential value of this move has actually increased I think it might have done so if it does take then we're on the Queen so I don't think they'll take I think they'll leave it there and they'll have a come with the protection here so then what do we do after that are we then basically gonna just take the pawn off kind of invites the port knight in but maybe the queen just takes anyway so go here if the queen takes we can still go here looking for the exchange but then we have the issue of the knight not protecting this knight and his knight can take our knight and then if we take the queen his knight takes the queen so that doesn't work in that sense does it so going here doesn't take goes here we take his queen takes leave the queen there now don't mess with our queen so it's on that spot can a knight get to it nope nope oh what am I on about this knight the pawn will have gone so this knight doesn't have any protection on it and we've got like one two three pieces on there so he's going to want to avoid that or sacrifice something so if we go here if he takes we take back okay that's fine with the, with the knight if he blocks we take but then he replicates ah so he will have the replication pawn pawn will be supporting the knight But it's a different kettle of a fish now. In fact, it's different now. It's only got it's got two pieces protecting there. We've got three pieces on this knight. So we could actually take this pawn. It's just that we lose a higher piece, don't we? Yeah, because if we take, then he takes with the pawn. Then we'd have to take with the rook yeah so that's not going to work do have this touching onto the knight a smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong but where would we be sending this knight to we'd have to go back out of the way then we come and follow up with this potential high value move which we're still waiting to get off I think that's what we're going to do smaller piece attacking a higher piece makes sense that's what we did with the knight attacking the higher piece so the potential value attacking a higher piece with a smaller piece usually is better this is attacking a piece of the same value so this is why it's taking a while to get this move out
so they'll be potentially thinking of what can they attack can they attack my queen how can they get my queen and I don't think there's anything there can this rook sacrifice give him something nothing too meaty going here attacking the queen does it give him something I don't think so those are the crazy type things that where you think you've got a half decent position then boom magic he may just simply take the knight you know just for a simple even exchange <laughs> like we said simple even exchange so the queen realistically needs to take the knight so don't need to overthink that one So this pawn move is out of the window. He's, he's throwing his pawn move out. <laughs> yes, he must have been feeling the, the power of this potential coming up here though. Okay, so it's attacking. We don't need to take back, but if we take back, he's got two on one on our knight. So that wouldn't bode well for us. <clears throat> so we don't. I don't think we need to rush to defend could push here but then his knights wanting to just jump back here can defend with this pawn here that probably makes sense really yeah let's just do a simple manoeuvre such as this supporting So it looks pretty even Stevens at the moment. We both know sort of what we're wanting to go for. He wants to control the, the file. I want to control this file. Or manage this file. Might be a bit risky actually capturing the pawn. So potentially just locking it down. taken so with a smaller piece defending the knight there's less chance of any sort of rook sacrifices going on but then there's this file that needs to be reckoned with okay small piece defending hopefully we can get a rook here then it's a fight off for this owning, owning this file I think it's going to want to move this knight so that this pawn targets this knight because like his knight we got fed up with his and we did a pawn push on it to get rid of it he'll want to do the same thing so I can see a potential challenge coming here we can capture this queen takes and then it's like well, what happens here on owning the file it's all simplified Ooh. See my mouse flashing on the screen. Okay, so he's not gone for ownership of the file. He's gone for supporting the pawn. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's not important to some people. Um, it's important to me, I think, for the rooks. I mean, that's their power base. Maybe he's thinking nobody wins out either way. So the queen, queen, looking to get active. What what can they do? You have to ask the question why he did this rook move here. It's just that it didn't look a, a meaty, dangerous move. So I could quite easily go for the simple owning of the file here. But now my brain's just thinking, well, realistically, what is it that he's planning to do here? It's just supporting the pawn, but we do have pawns that will meet it. So queen, queen activity. Okay, what's this? 
that square is lovely but his knight is there if we started pushing here to there just to get rid of his knight again we've got a glorious square there he's going to see that though his queen's aiming here but also targeting here so he must be planning something I'm plumping for pushing here to get rid of this knight because that makes sense to me um, he's going to be wanting to move the knight anyway because he wants his pawn to come down onto us I think I'm missing something so on here our queen's protecting is he going to get a rook down there in time or is he getting a knight down there nope okay let's push this pawn with that simple idea I can't see his threats just yet it's probably going to come out with something you know I, I don't see everything it's just, I can't see what his pieces aren't working together but he may just shock me and then I lose tempo somehow got to be mindful if I do get this off I'm pushing on to the knight anyway I'm, I'm still not sure what's going on we've had a strange rook move here a strange queen move here and now we've had a strange pawn move this is like they're not really attacking any key spaces or key square so I'm, I'm panicking thinking whoa this is some surreal stuff I'm seeing now if he's getting advantages out of that okay so his knight can go here, his knight can go there, but we can we want to go here to get his rook off the board, don't we? So he's kind of allowed us to get this position. And I'm still he's got this rook here. Oh yeah, for the tempo. But we've still got two pieces under attack. So I suggest his rook probably takes with a check. Don't forget potential background checkmate his king hasn't got a flight square. Does this work though? He takes into there, then he moves the queen out of the way. Well, moves it to there maybe. Then we take his rook off the board anyway. So he's going to lose the rook anyway. At minimum. That's what we're thinking. That's what we're hoping. It's not no checks on the king from his knight. Was the well, we'll wait for the evaluation because, like I said, there might be some magic after it all, and then I lose the advantage, whatever I've got. Because just because you win a rook doesn't mean you've won the game. Positionally, I've got to make sure everything is sound. The rook has got to be taken here, I think just to sort of upset the rhythm a bit or just to say well look I'm still in the game bang do I take with the rook or take with the queen well no I don't take with the queen because he's still got these here haven't he Hmm, they've gone deep into the tank on this one. Oh, he's made a move. He's made a move and it's not the one that I thought it was going to be. <sighs> okay, things have changed a bit. Could go there, but then his rook replicates. And we, yeah. Let's just take... Rook takes. Take a pawn. Trying to squeeze in here. And he's got his knight in front of our king, don't forget. So I don't want him 
get in some magical situation this queen can come here mm. do, do. take it's free queen comes here for the pressure on the king area queen's got this diagonal but it's not yeah, I suppose we could go here. Attacking the queen. Where does it oh takes here with a check on my king? Ouch. That's not gonna be a happy slice of bread in that. That's not gonna be a happy slice of bread. Man. Ooh thought it was good but it don't it's, it's not wearing on me too well if he goes there though let's look horizontally we can take this pawn here then he's not going to take this pawn Reframe it. What if the knight jumps here? Any box here? Hmm. I think that looks okay ish. It's just he's getting in front of my king. I think we may be able to circumvent it with this. Maybe I should be doing more to protect there. I don't think there's it. Well, we could do that because if he dropped there, pawn takes, but then he replicates. But then we take the rook off the board. Oh, I'm seeing that after the, after the event, aren't I? Yeah, that probably would have felt better. So it after the event. So focused, so focused on the queen should be doing something and I've actually taken it away from my own king to the other side of the board greedy munching a pawn and that's what I, I laugh at players when they do that don't I because that's what I want them to do be on the other side of the board slackness down he comes queen across Oh, it's not done that, so that's a horse of a different colour. Extremely different colour. Can come back now, can't we? But his knight can go there, his queen's protecting. Maybe attack the queen, see if he's going to be interested, but then oh, he goes to there, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm going to attack the queen. He might want to take it off because he's got a knight and a rook. He might go, oh, yeah, I'm very good with my knight. I don't like too much dancing. I don't think that's happening. He's, he's going to come here, isn't he? But the queen can come here. But then he's just going to drop the pawn. I suppose we can do this and it's a little bit Can't push that one and I will take it Oh, so I've only got one then Ooh. But we do have the saviour which is the rook I think Oh no, not really though Go there The queen's here Then he drops the pawn The pawn can't take the pawn Yeah, that's not good. Oh no, I think we have messed this up if he follows that line. Ooh, yeah, gonna have to swing this baby here. Then he drops a pawn onto the pawn. He could go here. But more or less, he's done the same type thing, but a little bit different. Probably would have been better going across the top, wouldn't it? Is he going here though?
Anyway, he's going towards the King Gary. Let's put it that way. So he's squishing me. Nope. I really thought he'd have gone there. I think I'm glad he didn't. This seems to give them less options. Whew. Background checkmate. Oh well, get the queen off the board then. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So a rook of e and I. Um, okay. Like I say, it might be very good with the knight. It also disturb all my pawns here, so I need to get these whipped off the board. Uh, get this one whipped off. It's got to check on my king. It's going to be annoying. Yeah. Okay. Got the pawn. And he's off rolling. He's off rolling. Come on. It's so funny, we both took so long over the, these moves to build up to this, and then it's suddenly pow, 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 pow. Obviously, it stopped now. Oh dear, so here we do, let's just keep pushing, he can take the pawn. Further across the other side of the board, the better for me, so. Or is he looking to push this down? King's got enough space to take. <coughs> or is he looking to do this just to take this pawn off? No, he's pushing, let's go. Still pushing. The knight protecting it. Queen me. Almighty fork from the knight somewhere now. Is this the long pause before the resignation? Come on. That was a really nice game. Good focal point. I have to look at the analysis on that one. He's still going. Oh, okay. So, is there a fork ahead? Let me see. Can't take. Well, I can take. There is a little bit of a fork, really, for me. Check on the king. That wins the knight. Okay, may as well take it. Whoa, excellent. That's it, well played there, good game. Uh, not new opponent, not new opponent, no, no, no. Analysis, analysis. <laughs> Dear me. Okay, let's analyze this. Okay, let's get to the tense situation. So black minus 0 0.4, okay. Knight's coming in, That's he's always wanted to sit there. Right, yeah, so I think all of this was a bit tense around here because of this ownership of the, you know, the e-file, if ever. So we're leaning on, so it's all a bit drawish, minus one, so to draw, yep, yep. Yeah, so we took a while over this move as we as we mentioned because we were focused on trying to get this one here, but we drew out the negatives from that, and this was more positive because it was attacking the higher piece, a little bit like the knight move. Yeah, because we were going to push it then, but we realised that with their queen being in that position, a smaller piece is attacking a higher piece, 
So we took that and then again a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. The knight capturing um, was okay. We expected potentially, would, we did say that he potentially would do that. Um, this poor move here, we didn't expect that. So we said, well, could probably even out with the pawn. And now look to own the file. And this was the start, I think, anyway. It's got like plus 0.2, but 0.2 is nothing really. But if you're talking tempi, I suppose that's where we're coming from. Because we basically said, rooks usually go for owning the file. I just wonder what it would show if it went and owned the file. Uh, draw. <laughs> okay, that's better than minus 0.2 though, isn't it? It's not even going to 0.2 now, it's still drawing, it's showing a draw. Okay, fair enough. So we went with our rook and it's still showing a draw. Oh, plus, got a plus there. And uh, gone back to a draw. So the evaluation's not showing too much in anybody's favour at this stage. I'm feeling good because we're owning that file, so I don't care what the eval says on that doesn't like our pawn move but we had a rationale for that which we wanted to get rid of this night so that we could get to here if the opponent didn't see it and then a second move which was really not we didn't know what that was it was a big question mark the rook move was a question mark the queen move was a question mark this pawn move so three question marks that we had in the game which then allowed us to keep pushing onto the knight. But as you can see, the gauge bar is showing minus 0.6. So black is actually winning in the eyes of the computer. In my eyes, no, I, I couldn't see it. And then they moved the knight. Ooh, they moved the knight. Maybe they should have. Hmm, maybe should have. Maybe should have. Interesting. Don't know where it would have gone anyway right so they move so it's plus 4.8 now from that move because now we've got the nice fork that we planned for ages ago so I don't understand why the early part of it it said that it was a draw drawn position or black was in black was winning you know when we started pushing the pawn up it's minus 0 0.6 then that non move occurred I suppose so maybe it was supposed to be a rook move preventing this action going never know okay so we got the rook in queen came down so we took the rook and captured the pawn um denied about capturing the pawn because of the way the queen could potentially swarm our king area but we had defensible rationales defensive defensible positions so luckily they just came with the pawn and then they actually saw what they needed to do but i believe it let me see what it would show if the queen actually went to here. Oh, it's still showing 4.6. Oof, dear. Okay, fair enough. So not much difference. And this one's increased it 6.3. So it's the worst position that they could have chosen, I think. So then we attack. And then this gives us the back rank checkmate situation. Although if you weren't looking, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't see that sort of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm quite pleased that we saw it, and that was an interesting game. It still carried on, obviously, but the writing was kind of on the wall at this stage. So we just keep pushing the pawn. Yeah. So lovely long play games.